Hi guys! Today I'm going to read you the story called The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they going? So here's our tiny little seed. One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high. And the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts. And the seed can not grow. The rest of the seeds fly on. But the tiny seed doesn't go as fast as all the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed doesn't go as high as the others. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It's hot and dry, and the seed can't grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops, and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It's too small, and the bird doesn't see it. Now it's winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look as if they're going to sleep in the earth. The snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch, but the tiny seed lies very still right there, and the little mouse doesn't see it. Now it's spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It really is spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls. The seed grows round and full, and they start to burst open a little. Now they're not seeds anymore, they're plants. Let's take a look. Can you see? The seed is right here, and we have some roots down here, and the little plant grows up out of the ground, and some of them are growing taller than others. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It's a big fat weed. And it takes the sunlight and the rain away from the small new plants. And some little plants die. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. Will it be too late? Hurry! But finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun in springtime. One child doesn't see the plant as he runs along and, oh, he broke one. Now it can't grow anymore. That's a really big foot. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor is growing even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven and look, a bud. And now even a flower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's the pretty orange flower. And there's our tiny plant. But what's happening? First there are footsteps, and then a shadow looms over them. Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. 
It's summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it. The water comes down in rain and it rains on it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than people. It's taller than the trees. It's taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at the flower. It's the tallest flower they've ever seen. It is a giant flower. Have you guys ever seen a giant flower that's taller than people? Sometimes we call them sunflowers and they get really tall and they have beautiful yellow flowers that are pretty big, bigger than your hand. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They've never seen such a big, beautiful flower. Now it's autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the orange flower, and they sail along with the brightly colored leaves across the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all its petals, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower, and this time the seed pods open, and out come many tiny seeds that sail far away on the wind. And that's where we started the story. Remember in the autumn and the seeds were blowing on the wind? And now we know how the seeds got there. They popped out of the flower pod. And these seeds will go on quite an adventure. All right, guys, that's the story of the tiny seed. Talk to you all soon, okay?